Hi there, 50 friends. It is Abby. Welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I am currently at the Goodwill Outlet here in downtown St. Louis. And if you've ever watched my videos before, then you know I talk about there are two Goodwill Outlets in St. Louis, not just one, but two. So we are super lucky. There's one out in the county and there's one here in downtown. Like I always talk about in this one, I live about 15 to 20 minutes away from. So it's not a bad drive at all. It's one of those things where if I'm feeling coming to the outlet, I'm like, eh, it's not a bad drive. You know, there's a highway I could take or a different route, but really not bad at all. So it makes it really hard to not come here like 24 7 so thank god the hours are a little different than others so anyways i am here today and i wanted to do something a little bit different i wanted to shop for myself and upgrade my closet and i actually haven't done this type of thing before i've always taken you guys inside to look for things to resell and I guarantee you if I walk inside, I will find something to resell. But today I'm mainly focused on upgrading my closet because I wear the same five baggy shirts every single day of my life. Uh, example A, I found this one at a Goodwill store and I just really loved the cats on it. And yeah, it's a, it's a New Orleans shirt and I wear this one to bed sometimes. <laughs> I just love it so much. But yeah, so I wear like the same five things all the time. And I kind of just want to like upgrade my style a little bit and, you know, not spend too much money doing it. So I don't really have a limit today. I don't really spend a lot in a Goodwill outlet anyway because it's by the pound. This specific Goodwill outlet is $1.19 per pound. And that's how the other one is too. So no matter where I go, I'm spending a similar amount, but I'm hoping to spend at least under $20 today. And I'm super excited to show you guys after everything I got, and maybe it'll be like a little try on session. I also have a sewing machine and I've sewn a few clothes, nothing that I would want to brag about, but if I find something really cool that I would maybe sew or, you know, rework, then I would show you guys that too, maybe after that's done. But that's kind of my goal today. I will show you guys if I find anything to resell because I know I'm gonna do that in here. But yeah, just gonna take you on my <laughs> little thrifting journey today. I hope you guys like finding clothes for me because you know, all I'm wearing are baggy t-shirts now. So gotta be comfortable though. Anyways guys, so I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna take a few videos. Last time I videoed in here, I had some lady yell at me. So I'm gonna be more discreet about it this time and not like flash it like I was last time. But yeah, let me know if you guys see anything that I missed. Let's go thrifting. I always forget to do this. Before I go inside, if you like my videos, if you like my content, go ahead and give me a like, a subscribe, whatever you're feeling, a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. That's actually what I would want more than anything is for you to just comment and let me know like, hey, I loved this find or oh my gosh, I found this today and I sold this for this much. I would really just love to connect with you guys in any way. I have my Instagram linked, Abby underscore thrifts on Instagram. That's where I post what I find and resell and i have my poshmark linked as well so yeah if you're feeling it go ahead and give me a subscribe or a like or whatever and you can just join this journey with me every single day actually no not every single day i'm thinking about posting videos every tuesday now so if that happens you're joining on the ride all right guys let's go inside <laughs>
feel like I, I need to wash myself and hand sanitizer after going to the Goodwill outlet. I love going, but if you ever go, consider wearing gloves just because you're literally digging through stuff the entire time. And I'm also glad that I brought my water bottle in because I was in there for a little bit, but I had a great time in there. I found some really good stuff today. I did find maybe like half of the things that I got were to resell and I just couldn't go in there and not find things to resell. So that's on me. But I found Ugg shoes, a brand new coach purse, Lululemon, um, a whole bulk of Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirts that I'm gonna resell. What else did I find? I found a foldable chair that I really wanted. So <laughs> I found some good stuff for my closet. So I will say that it was a closet revamp, but it wasn't what I was expecting just because when you're digging through clothes, you can't control like what's there and what's not there and what you find. And you only have a certain amount of time. So I did get a bunch of stuff. So it was a closet upgrade. I tried to take as many videos for you guys as I could, but after getting yelled at last time, I just felt like kind of weird about bringing out my phone again. And there were so many people in there. I thought they were staring at me. But yeah, I found some towels, found some Birkenstocks. Um, man, I'm gonna have to show you everything when I get home, but I forgot spring bags this time, so it's all just like chilling in the back. But anyways, I'm gonna go home, sort it all out, and then show you guys what I got today. A little bit of a closet home revamp kind of thing. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna drive home. See you guys later. All right, guys, I got a ton of good stuff at the bins today. As you can see, I have it all laid out on my table here, and I was hoping to do a little bit of a try-on haul today, but I do have a lot of stuff, so we're gonna see how that works. I'm trying not to make this a five hour long video, but as you can see, I also got Birkenstock and brand new Jessica Simpson slippers. We got a coach purse over there. We got some dresses sweaters t-shirts and all this cost $33.89 I did spend some of that money on items to resell and also a really nice um, foldable chair for outside and I'm really excited about that because I don't own any but I am going to try some of these items on for you I'm really really excited to show you definitely not going to try all of them on because like I said it would take about eight years but we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna try some of these on and you're gonna tell me what you think. I'm updating my closet and I'm super, super excited. All right, so let's jump right into it. Okay, tell me that this isn't the cutest Thanksgiving top that you've ever seen in your entire life. So I was really, really excited when I found this because it is quilted as you can see. It doesn't really have a brand on it, so I'm not sure if someone maybe hand quilted this, but when I saw this, it was like a bit cropped, as you can see. So like, I have a high-waisted leggings on, but um, it kind of like, it doesn't come down too far. It's really comfortable on the inside. It's really, really soft. This is a keep and I'm 100% wearing this on Thanksgiving. So um, yeah, no ifs, ands, or buts on that. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next one. All right, this is a top from Target. It's from the brand A New Day. And it's a little big, so I kind of like how it's um, it's a little big and baggy. I kind of wear that kind of stuff anyway. Like I said at the beginning of this video, <laughs> I wear like the same five shirts all the time, but really digging the colors. I don't have anything with red or this olive green. I have a ton of these two colors, but really liking this sweater. It's really soft. I'm thinking I can wear this to work. And you know, like I said, it's from Target and what's better than buying cheaper Target things at the Goodwill bins? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> We're gonna get on to the next one. This is a lot tighter than I expected. So I don't know if you can see this, but kind of reflects, says Nike. So this is definitely a Nike sweater top type of thing. The inside kind of has a sweatshirt type of material it's really soft and then there's a mesh type of material here and this part is really stretchy we have a turtleneck type feel at the very top here um like i said this is a size large so i was expecting this to be a little more baggy but this actually fits perfect this is more of a winter weather type of thing i was really excited when i found this because 
There was no flaws on it whatsoever. And this type of thing you'd find at, at a Nike outlet or a Nike store for at least $30. So I was really excited to find this for at least a dollar or probably less. And something in my size, something I'd wear. And I normally wear neutral colors anyway. So really excited for that as well. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, as you can see, this is a t-shirt dress from Sheen. And I'm actually really digging this. This is really comfortable. I tend to stray away from t-shirt dresses because I feel like I have a larger butt than most people. And so it is hard to find dresses that are my size that completely cover it and like don't ride up at the bottom, if that makes any sense. So if any of you out there feel that problem, just let me know so I don't feel so alone. It's really nice. But at the same time, it's really hard to find things that fit properly. So this actually doesn't, yeah, this isn't that bad at all. I actually really like this. I really like the colors yellow and gray together too. So this is a win-win for me. This might definitely be something that I would wear casually. So maybe this summer or yeah, hanging out with friends, something like that. But I'm very impressed with Sheen right now. On to the next one. <sighs> Okay guys, so I didn't have um, anything around to put anything on, so I thought this would be fine, but I found the cutest vintage shorts. Let me move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see. But so they're high-waisted. You can obviously tell that these are vintage. Really, really loving the uh, pattern and material on this. The very bottom is folded over. It kind of looks like someone sewed this, but this is an actual brand. The brand is Changes. It says it's size 12. Um, I don't know how true that is considering I am a size eight and um, this is uh, pretty tight up here on the waist, but you know, maybe things were a bit different back then, but I am really, really digging this. I'm thinking that I would probably wear these with like a light blue tank top to match the light blue flowers on here, or maybe even a pink one to bring out the pink little accents but yeah guys i am loving these and i cannot believe i found them i said something in the last little clip about the dress it is really hard for me to find things that fit me especially like shorts just i don't know just it's hard to explain if you guys feel me let me know in the comments below but really really liking these and uh i'm gonna have to bring these out they're flowy at the bottom. I don't have to worry about chafing. Here we are. All right, let's go to the next one. Probably just gonna show you guys a few more because I don't want this video to be eight years long, but here we go, a few more, let's go. All right, guys, I think this is, as silly as it sounds, probably one of my favorite finds of the day. And I found Bourbon Sock and Coach. So this little number is from Gap and it is a where does it say it on here it's a little thing it's a natural cotton oh maybe that doesn't say it's like an outdoor series like coat like over pullover type of thing so we got the little zipper here the the little flap we got the what's this called kangaroo pouch going on here it is bright yellow which is one of my favorite colors i absolutely love this and it pairs super well with leggings it's really comfortable, it's really light. Um, again, I'm surprised it's from Gap because I feel like I've seen these in other places and they are super expensive. There are cute little buttons here. There is nothing wrong with it. I, I don't see any uh, flaws, any stains, rips, snags, anything like that. So really excited to break this out during the fall, which is coming up very, very soon. So we love a good Midwest fall. Anyways. I will show you guys now the few uh, shoes and the purse that I got. That is my like pride and joy of this entire haul. So let's get right to that. Okay guys, I had to show off another one of my finds. I obviously have a big pile sitting right next to me that is kind of getting in the way, but had to show this one off too, just because it is St. Louis apparel. We always love the birds. But I just wanted to show you the final few things that I got that were a little smaller and that were not related to clothes, but stuff that I saw that I really wanted. So 
Just gonna quickly show you, this is a Vera Bradley bag. I always love collecting these when they're in really good condition because I use them all the time when I travel. I throw my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, all that kind of stuff in these really nice bags. And this is a very, very nice Vera Bradley bag. So loving the pattern, had to pick that one up. I found this adorable toucan bag in really, really good condition. Nothing is wrong with the inside. It looks like it's barely been used. So I was really excited about that. Again, I use these all the time. I found a Lululemon headband. This is so, so adorable. The inside is sticky. So it just kind of makes sure that it doesn't fall off your head. Really excited to use this. I play tennis all the time. So that's something I will use actually. I found these Banana Republic earrings still in the case. You can tell that the price was ripped off the bottom there. It's kind of hard to tell, but maybe if I do that, yeah. So you can tell the price was ripped off. So I'm guessing nobody wore them, but you, you, you never really know when it's, when it's come to the bins. But final thing I wanted to show you guys, or a few things I wanted to show you, showed you these at the beginning, but these are brand new Jessica Simpson slippers in my size i wear a size eight to nine and this is or i wear eight and a half but this is a size eight to nine and you can tell they haven't been worn just by the way that it feels so i'm really excited about that i have a pair of slippers that i got from victoria's secret a long time ago and the fur is kind of matted down at this point so really excited to start using those i also picked up some birkenstocks and i have been so so lucky with birkenstocks lately my last trip, if you looked at my last video or two videos ago, I found two pairs of Birkenstocks at the bins and they're both my size. And I was contemplating my life thinking, should I sell these or should I keep them? And I ended up keeping them just because they fit me and Birkenstocks are like $100 to $150 or whatever. So this is a size 39. So I, I tried these on and they do fit me. They are just like a teeny, teeny bit too big um but they do fit me so i'm gonna keep these as well and just have a bunch of different colors of birkenstocks and wear them around like i'm fancy my final thing i wanted to show you guys was this brand new coach purse there is a catch that comes with this though there are blue marks on this purse um so you're probably wondering why am i saying this purse is brand new and there's marks on it so um, I was looking through the shoes bins and I found this completely white, brand new coach purse, noticed it. And I was like, wow, I can't believe someone didn't pick that up. So I was looking through it and I was super surprised to see the paper is still in the front pocket here. Um, as I go through the purse, you can tell uh, on the inside of the bag, it smells like brand new, completely brand new. We go to the middle here. The person who had this last, oh maybe it's in another pocket, but again, you can tell that this has not been used whatsoever. The inside smells brand new, just like a brand new coach purse. We have right here a, the coach verification label that tells you it is 100% coach authentic. And then inside we have some care instructions and in the same part of the purse, this part of the zipper is coated in white paper. So I I like to call that brand new if those things are not ripped off. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly where the blue marks came from and it might be hard to see on the screen, but if I like move it a little close, you can see there's some right there. There's some at the bottom. It's just, I think I'm gonna have to get some leather cleaner and just hope that it comes out really wanting to keep this for myself because i've been wanting a purse or a new purse for a while i just never wanted to pay for it so i've i've just been using thrifted purses if anyone else does that let me know so we'll be on this train together of just you know being either frugal or too cheap to buy things for yourself but i was really excited about that coach purse find so if you guys have a good idea of what leather cleaner to use i've been looking that up on amazon um, yeah, if, if any of you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening in my voice. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Let me know of what I tried on was your favorite. I think my top two favorites were the yellow pullover from Gap in those flower or floral shorts, I guess you could say. 
and um, obviously the broken socks in the coach purse were my favorites as well but let me know what you guys think in the comments below again thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye